Leodegario Santa Cruz, born August 10, 1988, is a Mexican professional boxer. He has held multiple world championships in four weight classes, including the WBA, Super, featherweight title since 2017 and previously the IBF bantamweight title from 2012 to 2013, the WBC Super bantamweight title from 2013 to 2015, the WBA, Super, featherweight title in his first reign from 2015 to 2016, and the WBA, Super, Super featherweight title from 2019 to October 2020. As of March 2019, Santa Cruz is ranked as the world's ninth best active boxer, pound for pound, by the Transnational Boxing Rankings Board, TBRB, and 10th by Box Rec. In January 2018, he reached a peak pound for pound ranking of 6th by the TBRB. 2. He is also ranked as the world's best active featherweight by The Ring Magazine, 3. Box Rec, 4, and the TBRB. 5. As an amateur, Santa Cruz compiled a record of 148 wins and 7 losses. 6. Santa Cruz made his professional debut, at the age of 18 on October 13, 2006 against Mexican boxer Pedro Silva, winning the fight via knockout in round 2. After drawing his second bout in January 2007 against Rodrigo Hernandez, Santa Cruz went on to win his next 13 fights, with 5 coming by stoppage. On October 21, 2010 Santa Cruz beat the veteran James Owens at the Martins Valley Mansion in Cockeysville, Maryland. 7. In March 2011, Santa Cruz knocked out the veteran Stefan Jammy to win the vacant WBC Youth Bantamweight Championship. 8. In April 2012, promoter Bron Kumienkovic announced that a deal was set for Santa Cruz to fight South African boxer Vusi Malinga, 23-1, 12 KOs, for the vacant IBF Bantamweight title. The fight was slated for 2nd of June at the Home Depot Center in Carson, California. The IBF title was left vacant when then-champion Abner Mares moved up in weight. 9. Santa Cruz beat Malinga via unanimous decision to win the IBF bantamweight title. The bout was televised on a Showtime boxing card. Two judges scored Santa Cruz the clear winner with scorecards of 120-108 to and the third judge gave Malinga one round, scoring the fight 119-109. The fight started off with both boxers trying to outland each other, with Santa Cruz landing the cleaner and power shots. Malinga was hurt numerous times during the fight, but kept coming forward. 10-11-12 In August 2012, it was announced that Santa Cruz would make the first defense of his IBF title on the undercard of Saul Alvarez vs. Jose Cito Lopez on 15th of September at the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Paradise, Nevada. His first defense was rumored to be against former two-time world champion Eric Morrell, 46-3, 23 KOs. 13. On fight night, Santa Cruz wore down Morrell with body shots, dominating the fight from the opening bell, forcing Morrell to quit on his stool before round 6 began. 14. CompuBox stats showed that Santa Cruz landed 66% of his power punches. In total, over 5 rounds, Santa Cruz landed 277 punches of 509 thrown, 54%, and Morel landed 73 of his 344 thrown, 21%. 15-16. On October 29, 2012 a deal was reached for Santa Cruz to make a second defense of his IBF title at the Staples Center in Los Angeles against Mexican boxer Victor Zaleta, 22-1, 10 KOs, on a doubleheader featuring WBC super bantamweight champion Abner Mares vs. Anselmo Moreno on 10 November. The card was to be shown live on Showtime. 17. Santa Cruz drops Zaleta three times en route to a TKO victory in round 9 to retain his IBF title. Santa Cruz started the fight the better boxer and began working the body immediately. Zaleta was dropped following a body shot in round 4, again in round 7 following a combination of shots to the head and body and the final knockdown in round 9, again from a combination forced the referee to stop the fight. 18. On December 2, 2012 Golden Boy Promotions announced a doubleheader which would take place on CBS at the Los Angeles Sports Arena on 15 December where Santa Cruz would make his third defense in four months against unbeaten Mexican boxer Alberto Guevara, 16-0, 6 KOs. 
The last time CBS aired live boxing was 15 years prior on January 1997 when Bernard Hopkins stopped Glenn Johnson. 19. The fight was one-sided as Santa Cruz went on to win the unanimous decision to retain his IBF title. Santa Cruz, who was known to have a high punch output did not throw as much as his previous bouts but did enough for the three judges to score the fight 116 to 112, 118 to 110, and 119 to 109 in his favor. 2021. Santa Cruz explained the reason for the lower output was because he felt he had fought a lot recently. 22. According to CompuBox stats, Santa Cruz landed 291 of 989 punches thrown, 29%, and Guevara landed 158 of his 793 thrown, 20%. 23. Santa Cruz finished the year with five wins including three title defenses. 24. On February 12, 2013, Santa Cruz vacated his IBF bantamweight belt to move up to junior featherweight. 25. Santa Cruz had his first fight at the super bantamweight limit on the undercard of the Floyd Mayweather Jr. vs. Robert Guerrero Showtime pay-per-view on May 5, 2013 at the MGM Grand in Las Vegas. The fight was officially announced in March along with the rest of the undercard. Santa Cruz was originally scheduled to fight Rafael Marquez, but he pulled out due to injury. Venezuelan veteran, former super flyweight world champion Alexander Munoz, 36-4, 28 KOs, stepped in. 26. Santa Cruz won the vacant NAB Super Bantamweight title after stopping Munoz in round 5. The fight started out with both boxers trading blow, but it was Santa Cruz who was landing the harder and cleaner shots. Munoz was dropped at the end of round 3 and then nearly went down again in the next round. After taking more punishment from the bigger Santa Cruz, Munoz's trainer stopped the fight. 27-28. Santa Cruz landed 52% of his total punches thrown which included 57 body shots. 29-30 On June 18, 2013 Golden Boy announced that Santa Cruz was the mandatory challenger with the WBC and would challenge Mexican boxer Victor Tarasas, 37-1, 21 KOs, for his WBC super bantamweight title at the StubHub Center in Carson, California on 24 August. The fight would mark Tarasas' first title defense since winning the then-vacant title in April 2013 against Christian Mijares. 31. Golden Boy won the rights to promote the fight at the purse bids when they bid $526,000, more than the $451,000 which came from Zanfer Promotions. With Tarasas the champion, due 75%, meaning he would come out with $368,200 and Santa Cruz will get remaining $157,800. 32. Santa Cruz beat Tarasas via a third-round TKO to become a two-weight world champion. 33. Santa Cruz started off quick immediately forcing Tarasas to fight on the back foot. Tarasas was able to fight back but was getting hit a lot in the process. By the end of round 2, Tarasas right eye began to close due to the offense output of Santa Cruz. In round 3, Santa Cruz dropped Tarasas twice and although he beat the count each time, the referee waved off the fight after the second knockdown. 34. Santa Cruz landed 78 of 267 punches thrown, 29%, and Tarasas landed 33 of his 156 thrown, 21%. Santa Cruz was credited with landed 33 power shots in round 2. 35-36 Video 1 Golden Boy initially tried to make Santa Cruz vs. Christian Mijares for 2nd of November however negotiations broke down on 9th of October. Instead a new deal was being formed for Santa Cruz to make his first voluntary defense against Cesar Seda, 25-1, 17 KOs, on 14th of December at the MGM Grand in Las Vegas, Nevada on the undercard of the Showtime PPV Marcos Maidana vs. Adrian Bronner for the WBA welterweight title. 37. The card was later taken off PPV, but would still be aired on Showtime and would take place at the Alamo Dome in San Antonio, Texas. 38. Santa Cruz knocked Seda down once in the fifth round as he went on to win a unanimous decision when the three judges scored it 117-110, 116-111, 115 to 112 in his favor. Despite the win, Santa Cruz was disappointing with his performance. 39 40, 
CompuBox stats showed that Santa Cruz landed 297 of 829 punches thrown, 36%, and Seda landed 170 of his 649 thrown, 26% 41. On January 9, 2014 it was announced that Santa Cruz would finally meet veteran Mexican contender Christian Mijares, 49-72, 24 KOs, also his mandatory challenger at the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Paradise, Nevada on 8th of March, defending his WBC title. The fight would take place on the PPV undercard of Canelo vs. Angulo. For the fight, Santa Cruz would earn $500,000 and Mijares had a $92,000 purse. 42-43, the fight went the distance as Santa Cruz won on all three judges' scorecards, 120-108, 120-108, 119-109. 44, Santa Cruz showed respect in the post-fight interview to Mijares, who he looked up to before he won his first world title, Mijares is a great boxer. I came to do what I had to do to win. Mijares had great experience. He's a lefty. I had to be ready. We practiced everything to put on a great fight. 45, Santa Cruz landed 371 of 1,043 punches thrown, 36%, and Mijares landed 132 of his 574 thrown, 23%. 46, 